Okay, so we have the cost for each of the characters and we know the cost limit being 15 for them. Let's go ahead and look at the list and kind of discuss all of the options that you can use and what the cost of the characters are. I'm not going to go over every single option, just kind of like the main talking points of all of them. But right off the get-go, uh, Hercules all the way down here at 1. <laughs> and then another funnily thing to talk about and kind of get off the bat too, is that if you want to run the full team of the Genji Force and get a cost of 15, you can. Because Raccoon, Jason, Birder are 3, so that's 9. Uh, Goldo is 2, so that's 11. And I think uh, Ginyu is 4. Yeah, Ginyu right here is 4. So if you want to run the full Ginyu Force team, you are well within your right to do so. <laughs> I, I do like how they how they like kind of like left that in, for sure. But if we go ahead and start looking at the list, a lot of the kind of weaker characters are all in 2. Then once we start going into 3, it's a lot of the kid versions of characters and more weak characters, of course. Uh, 4 is when we start seeing like base Goku from the uh, from his like starting point. So like early uh, Daima Goku as well, Scout of Vegeta, Team Gohan, Adult Ultimate Gohan being uh, kind of a weird spot here though in my opinion. But yeah, I would say that like for the cost of some of these characters, it, it is kind of crazy that uh, of like the balancing of it. Because then we go to like 5 and it's just like base Goku mid, Super Saiyan Goku mid, and then base Goku end and Super uh base goku as well like all of these are all the same cost which is kind of like funny because you could either just like two super saiyan goku or base goku and they cost exactly the same despite being from like the the same you know kind of thing but i i, I guess i can kind of understand it because they don't want you to just um they don't they don't want you to just run uh <laughs> like just full goku teams i guess you could say but then we start seeing like first second third form frieza all, all in here um as well as a lot of the movie villains slash GT villains, Janemba, Baby Vegeta, Base Goku Black, Samasu, you know, so a lot of the universe survival saga characters as well, Base Kale, Bergamo, Rebrand, Base Khalifa, Base Kaba. The biggest thing I will talk about though is the fact that Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is all the way up here, but for some reason Kava's down here. It's uh it's curious, curious how uh Kava is less cost and uh kind of clears Gogeta, but Oh yeah, I guess we could just talk about that too real quick. So a lot of the fusion characters, as well as Beerus and Whis, they're all going to be at the top. So <laughs> I, honestly, I'll just I'll just say it. for for just choosing three costs less, it's probably just going to be worth it overall more to just get an extra character and start off with base Vegito, base Gogeta, and kind of build up to get to Super Saiyan Blue rather than spending three costs more and now you only have like five costs you have to choose between all of these characters who you'd have to transform regardless you know and then we have super saiyan goku and super saiyan 2 goku you know a lot of the other super saiyan characters fourth form frieza mecha frieza um frieza from super perfect cell this is where we start getting a lot of the end villains and like cooler and stuff like that then once we go to seven costs we get god goku super saiyan 3 goku super saiyan 3 goku gt majin vegeta you know, Ultimate Gohan. This is the reason why I was talking about, like, it's crazy. Because Ultimate Gohan 7, and then we were just talking about it earlier. That, uh, what was it? Wasn't he, like, somewhere in 4? Yeah, right here. Base Adult Gohan is 4. And then <laughs> the him transformed to 7. But anyways. Uh, Base Gogeta's and all that are, are 7 as well. Super Janemba. You know, Metal Cooler. A lot of, of the second time returning. Or these transformed characters are all going to be here in seven the like super saiyan broly super saiyan broly from the movies you know all that stuff sin shenron and then once we get to to like eight and above it's it's a lot of these you know top characters i would say super saiyan 4 goku super saiyan 4 vegeta blue uh blue goku ultra instinct sign goku golden frieza mega shenron you know like a, a lot of these more powerful characters i would say but it, it it is then funny because like like i was talking about it, it, it's crazy how how much they value the transformations i will have to obviously just see how they are in game to see if it is even worth it to to start off rather than transform you know but i, I wouldn't be surprised if it, if it is going to be a thing where it's just like you want to choose a lot of these base form characters any uh like at the start anyways and then just kind of build up to get that power boost rather than starting off with the power boost at a higher cost, right? But um, 
like I said, it's, it's kind of crazy because, um, like, like I was talking about with the transformations, they value the the fusion so much when you could just get like the the base forms of the fusions and it's seven, so it's three less cost. You know, it, it, you can get base Goku all the way down here from Super for five, and then you probably would be able to build up to Blue Goku and and Blue Vegeta, and that's again another cost of three. <laughs> so it's just like you know stuff like that seems seems very silly to me personally, but. Uh, I'll go ahead and talk about what team I'm going to per probably personally run. And the two that I, I, I would definitely say is just if if we get a system where it's just like we see gameplay and we know that the transformations are going to be worth it to do right at the start. I would say I'm going to probably run a team of like Super Saiyan 4 Goku and God Goku. So that will equal up to 15. And then if it's not worth it to do the um, or if it is worth it to just do the transformation, it's better to just do the base forms. I'll probably choose, you know, the base form of Super Goku and base of GT Goku. And then with that extra cost, I would, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I'll probably just do something like uh, like base Future Gohan as well. We'll do, you know, just base Goku Super, base Goku GT, and then base Future Gohan. I, I, I feel like those are kind of like my, my top options for for uh sparking zero that's that's probably gonna be my mains but yeah well like i said we'll, we'll definitely have to see how everything's gonna play out the other thing i i did want to talk about if you do want to check out this list for yourself uh thank you jeremy for making it if you do want to check out this list for yourself i'm going to be sure to leave a comment down below so that way you're able to check this list out for yourself you're able to see and make team combinations for yourself as well um but yeah i'll be sure to link it down so that way you can see the list and kind of do like your own you know uh like hypotheticals for when the game does drop but thank you as always wolfering remember thank you as always all of you guys for watching what characters are you guys going to run when the game drops let me know down in the comments below thank you guys all for watching i really do appreciate the support on the sparking videos so far and i definitely do think it's going to be a game i'm going to be playing a lot more often so if if you do want to stick around make sure to like comment subscribe do all that good stuff but other than that, thank you all for watching. Hope you guys have a great week and hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.